Hi and thanks for watching this video which is a quick demo of the TMS 9918A sprite handling capabilities. So this is the video chip that I'm using in my homebrew computer and it is also the same video chip that Texas Instruments used in their home computer range back in the early 80s, the TI 994A. Uh, but it also was used uh, most notably in the MSX range of home computers from Japan. So the first generation MSX used the same chip or compatible version of it. Um, so um, without, uh, I've already built a, a quick program to uh, to do this. Most of the actual logic is uh, is just to uh, move the sprites around the screen. So I shall start the demo, and um, what you'll see here is essentially there's there are 32 sprites on the screen. All of them um, happen to use the Space Invader image, but they could all be different. Um, and they are all one of 15 different colors, well, 14 different colors actually, um, to uh, show the differences between the, the sprites. So there's 32 moving about on the screen. Um, if you watch carefully, you'll see some of the sprites seem to disappear and reappear or partially disappear. And that's because the TMS 9918A has a restriction of four sprites per horizontal scan line. So uh, on occasion when there is more than one sprite, uh, sorry, more than four sprites on a horizontal scan line, uh, you won't get displayed. Um, and that's just a hardware limitation. Uh, back in the early 80s, this was um, overcoming software by uh, changing the priorities of, of sprite objects around uh, every frame, which helped somewhat but then resulted in a flickering sprites um, but uh, in any case this is uh, I hope uh, uh, an interesting demo of the the power of uh, hardware sprites so the main program all it's doing once the sprite image and the colors have been set up is just changing the position of each sprite and so this means uh, uh, quite a lot of graphical movement can be achieved with minimal overhead on the CPU because the graphics processor is taking on all the duties of retrieving the bitmap image for the sprite and then drawing it at the appropriate position on the screen and in the appropriate colour. So I hope you found that uh, useful and interesting insight and uh, thank you again for watching this video.